In this video, I'm going to be ranking every single Galactic Conqueror Spotlight card from worst all the way to best in NBA 2K23. My team, I'm not going to worry too much about the Diamond cards. It's just going to be Pink Diamonds all the way up to the Galaxy Opals, going from the worst card all the way up to the best. So in my opinion, guys, I do think Mitchell Robinson is going to be the worst Spotlight card. Now, let me know in the comment section down below, out of all the cards that are in this uh, in this video and all the cards that you guys can earn from the Galactic Conqueror Spotlights, let me know which card is your favorite so far, either the Pink Diamonds or the Galaxy Opals as well. But in my opinion, like I said major robinson could be the worst he's a center seven foot one with a seven foot two wingspan i'm not going to take too much time on kind of these lower tier cards i mean i still think they're worth going over a little bit i mean mitchell robinson going to be a good defender 97 block 95 interior defense he can finish around the rim really nice and does have some really good uh, rebounding stats the cards are good inside big man but i feel like at this stage in my team unless you're running a guy like Shaq, you want to have a center that can shoot so for me i think mitchell robinson probably going to be the worst spotlight card next one here is going to be ping diamond bob Lanier. He's a center power forward, six foot eleven, with a seven foot two wingspan. Now he can actually shoot the three ball a little bit with a 72 release or 72 three ball rating i should say i mean the card's okay he doesn't have the normal leaner he does have the mj dribble style jump shot should be pretty decent on the card for me he just doesn't really do anything too crazy because he's not going to be that good of a defender he's not that crazy fast i mean 88 speed is pretty nice for your power forward but i think there's just a lot better cards than bob lanier but i do think he's still pretty decent but going to be one of the worst spotlight cards next one here is going to be marcin gortat he's a center power forward seven foot with a seven foot three wingspan now he does have a 78 three ball and his jump shot probably is a lot worse than a guy like uh, uh, Bob Lanier, but I do think he's a little bit better of a defender, having a 92 interior defense and a 92 block, and he is taller and probably a better rebounder as well. So I think these cards, I mean, you can flip-flop them if you wanted to. If you want to put Bob Lanier over Gortat, you could obviously do that as well. I mean, next one here is going to be Rudy Gobert. I mean, it's the same thing as a guy like Mitchell Robinson. Yes, he's 7'1 with a 7'8 wingspan. He has a really good player model and going to be a very good defender. I mean, no questions asked. He's probably one of the better defenders in my team just because of his player model in game he's gonna get so many defensive stops but he's only got a 34 three ball and at this time of the year when we have all these centers that can shoot you know d rob Yao ming's got an 83 ball 78 three ball i mean you just gotta be able to shoot if you're gonna be one of the better centers so for me i think rudy gobert kind of like mitchell robinson gonna be very good inside bigs but just not gonna really fit the meta of the game this year next spotlight card here is gonna be matt bonner he's a power forward center six foot ten with a six foot eight wingspan a little bit interesting there that his wingspan's that low, but I mean, stats wise, he does have a 94 three ball, 93 mid range, and some amazing Hall of Fame shooting badges, including limitless range, guard up, dead eye, corner specialist, claymore, catch and shoot, blinders, and amped as well. So, I mean, the car can at least shoot threes at a very high level, jump shot wise. I'm not exactly sure how the Patrick Ewing base is going to look like in game, but he does have it on quick timing. So, I mean, should be an okay jump shot, especially for a, you know, a Matt Bonner card. And then defensively, not going to be the greatest, but I think he's going to be an okay defender. Speed-wise, is pretty okay. I mean, pretty decent. 85 speed, 85 acceleration. I think a lot of these cards that we're talking about first here, like some of the worse cards, I mean, they're just not going to be great, but they're not terrible. Like, as we kind of get through the video, we'll obviously start talking about the better pink diamonds and obviously the galaxy bulls as well. But next one here is going to be Cedric Sub uh, Sabalasso, Sabalas. I have no idea to say his last name, but he's going to be a small forward shooting guard, six foot six with a six foot nine wingspan. I mean, he's an okay, good all around shooting guard. Like he's going to be good at going to the rim, especially being a uh, six foot six. He's got a 98 driving dog, 95 vertical, having Hall of Fame posterizer, limitless takeoff, fast twitch bully, and fearless finisher as well. So I mean, getting to the rim should be really nice with this card. He also does have the MJ dribble style, which is really good for getting downhill and then has the normal leaner as well. So I would say this is probably the first card we've talked about that I think is actually, you know, somewhat usable and actually somewhat decent of a card so i would say cedric probably you know kind of middle tier but lo definitely lower but i'd say he's probably our first usable card next one is going to be carlos boozer he's a power forward center six foot nine with a seven foot two wingspan yes he might be a little bit undersized for the power forward position but i do think this card is very nice all around like yes he might be a little bit undersized like i said but he does have the kobe escape you know he's got a pretty uh, pretty decent jump shot i'm pretty sure vanderbilt like it's on grand hill it's on jerry stackos who have decent jump shots so i feel like his release should be pretty nice on quick timing and then stats and badges wise he just looks to be very well rounded so i think carlos boozer gonna be not a terrible card and definitely usable just like a guy like cedric vin baker i think is actually pretty decently underrated because i think the paul millsap base is actually pretty nice this year i could be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure sharif had a good jump shot and that was because of the paul millsap base so if he's got a good jump shot he's also got the mj dribble style he's got the normal leaner and stats wise i think he's just a little bit better than a guy like 
I think he's just a little bit better than a guy like Carlos Boozer at the power four position. He's a little bit taller, you know, has an inch on the wingspan as well. So for me, I think Vin Baker probably has a better jump shot and is probably a little bit better on the defensive side of thing, but definitely going to be very close as well. And the next spotlight card here is going to be Dan. He's a shooting guard, small forward, six foot six with a six foot nine wingspan. I mean, this card, at least stats and badges wise, is actually not that bad. Like he looks to be pretty well rounded. Obviously can shoot the three ball really well. 93 three ball, 92 mid range, having Hall of Fame amps, catch and shoot, corner specialist, limitless range which is really nice to have on your shooting guard looks to be a solid defender as well i would say this is probably our first like good spotlight card maybe good is pushing a little bit but i think he's actually going to be like a a very usable you know pink diamond shooting guard in my team i think dan going to be kind of in the mid tier looking at antoine walker another very solid card as well he's a power forward small forward six foot nine with a seven foot one wingspan and just a very good all-around card. I mean, he has some amazing Hall of Fame shooting badges. He's got Limitless, Guard Up, Catch and Shoot, Blinders, Amped, and Agent 3. And then defensively, very well-rounded stats. I mean, for your small forward, Jump Shot, I'm not exactly sure how the Bismack base will look like in-game. I don't think it's probably going to be a great base, but he does have the MJ dribble style, even has the heart and size up in the KD escapes. I mean, for your, you know, your power forward or sorry, your small forward, I should say, is actually not that bad and his movement should be pretty nice. So I think Antoine Walker definitely going to be pretty decent. Looking at Dylan Brooks here, I mean, he's just going to be a great defensive shooting guard. He's six foot six uh, with a six foot six wingspan. But if you take a look at his defensive stats, and that's obviously where the card's going to excel, having a 96 steel, 96 lateral quickness, 94 perimeter, and a 90 interior defense as well. So, I mean, the card is an amazing defender. He's good at going to the rim with a 95 driving dog, 95 vertical, has some amazing Hall of Fame defensive badges, interceptor, glove, clamps, challenger, anchor. He's got quick first step, catch and shoots. So, I mean, at least stats and badges wise, this card looks to be a very nice shooting guard. Now, I have heard his jump shot really isn't the best, even though it's on quick timing. I have heard it's still a little bit wonky and a little bit slow, and his dribble sigs really aren't going to be the best. If he had a better jump shot and better dribble sigs, this card could be a lot higher on the list, but I think for me, probably going to be somewhere in the middle. Next card here is going to be Jamal Murray. He's a very interesting card because I do think offensively, he's a six foot, uh, six foot four point guard, I should say, and does have some really good offensive stats, but they gave him his jump shot on slow timing, so I don't exactly know where to put Jamal Murray because I haven't seen his release in game, so I'm not sure how big of this slow release timing how big of an issue that is but i kind of just put him somewhere in the middle because if his jump shot's fine he's actually not that bad of a point guard but if it's a super slow release then he's not going to be really that usable for your point guard next card here is going to be tobias harris he's a small forward power forward six foot nine with a six foot eleven wingspan for me i just feel like he's a little bit better than a guy like antoine walker very similar cards in the sense that I mean, they both have good jump shots. I would say Antoine probably has way better movement. So you could put Antoine Walker over a guy like Tobias Harris, but I think Tobias's jump shot is probably going to be a decent amount better and has some amazing Hall of Fame shooting badges. For me, I think Antoine Walker and uh, Antoine Walker and Tobias Harris can be very close. I think kind of around the same level. And the next card here is going to be Pink Diamond Chris Mullen. I mean, he's just going to be a sniper. He's a small four shooting guard, six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan. Like I said, he can shoot the three ball. That's pretty much it for the card. But he's going to have a good jump shot. Has the MJ dribble style Kobe Bryant escape normal leaner I mean offensively he's going to be a bucket and then defensively he can definitely hold his own as well having Hall of Fame clamps and some pretty good defensive stats so nothing too crazy about Chris Mullen kind of what you guys would expect on the Chris Mullen card just going to be a very good shooting guard next one here is going to be Kirk Heinrich I think he's actually pretty underrated for a point guard he's six foot four with a six foot six wingspan he's going to be an amazing defender at least on the perimeter and then having an 80 block and 88 interior defense I mean stats wise besides the 75 driving dunk he's got some amazing stats jump shot i think should be decent and that has some pretty good dribble styles a uh, pretty good dribble sigs i should say and the normal leaner as well so for me i think kern uh, kirk heinrich just going to be very solid at the point guard position next pink diamond card here is going to be wes unsell he's a center power forward six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan the thing with wes is that he's six foot seven if he was taller at the power forward spot he would actually be a lot higher in this list because i believe he does have a good jump shot i mean he's got the kobe bryant escape that should be our kobe bryant base i should say which is honestly one of the better bases in my team right now he's got that on quick timing super fast jump shot he's also got the mj dribble style normal leaner which is really nice for the power four position if he was like 6'9 or 6'10 i think he would be a lot higher on this list but still even being six foot seven i think west going to be one of the better pink diamond cards in the game at least from the spotlight cards now kenny smith I think is another just solid point guard. He's six foot three, only with a six foot three wingspan. 
So I think his defense is really not going to be that great. And I think that's the thing that probably holds back the card the most, right? His jump shot should be pretty decent. He's got the MJ dribble style, but I do think he's going to definitely be a, a little bit of a liability in the defensive end. So I wasn't really sure where to put Kenny Smith. I kind of have him, you know, in the middle, maybe a little bit higher than lower. Next card here is actually going to be Galaxy of Kyrie Irving. And I think this is probably the hardest card to rank because he's just going to be so fun to use in game. But as a comp card or card that you want to use, you know, to try to win games, I'm not sure where to put him because if you can three home with this card which he does have some pretty good dribble six obviously has a quick jump shot i think you can have a lot of success with him for me though i think he's probably got to be kind of in the middle tier i think he's probably around like number 11 or number 12 overall though i still think going to be a very fun point guard to use lamarcus aldrich going to be the next card here he's a power forward center six foot 11 with a seven foot four wingspan he's just a standard lamarcus aldrich card i mean we always get a good pink diamond la card some th uh, sometime throughout my team cycle and he's just very solid he can shoot the three ball has a pretty decent and jump shot plays pretty good defense all around just going to be a very solid power forward next card here is going to be dory finney smith he's a power forward small forward six foot seven with a seven foot wingspan we're starting we're finally starting to get to some really good pink diamond cards like i would say this dory finney smith is actually very elite at the small forward position now jump shot I'm not 100% sure, and I don't know what his jump shot looks like in game, but he's got the MJ dribble style and the normal leaner as well. Stats wise, gonna be a very good defender. He's got Hall of Fame claim breaker, quick first step, catch and shoot, corner specialist. He's fast. He's got a 93 ball, 89 mid range. I mean, he just looks to be a very good all around small forward, and I think one of the better spotlight cards in my team right now. Now, DeAndre Hunter is a very interesting card because if you looked at this card on paper, he's a small forward shooting guard. He's six foot eight with a seven foot two wingspan and has some amazing stats and badges, especially for the defensive end. He looks to be one of the better shooting guards in my team, but this jump shot i did a gameplay with him yesterday is absolutely terrible like yes i know it's on quick timing and it might seem like it's a good jump shot but it is a terrible release so that's the biggest flaw with this card and the only reason why he's not a lot higher in this list and he's still probably in the top 10 you know from the tro uh, from the spotlight cards even though his jump shot is absolutely terrible and that's the only thing really holding this card back next card here though is going to be pink diamond del curry i think offensively he should be nice he's a six foot five point guard with a six foot eight wingspan i just think his 60 driving dunk and he doesn't have really the best of defensive stats is going to hold him back a little bit when we do have some amazing point guards that we're going to be talking about here in a second first one is going to be jason kidd i mean he's a very good all-around point guard he's six foot four with a six foot eight wingspan i mean the defense is going to be unreal on the card one of the best point guard defenders in the game he's also super fast 97 speed 97 acceleration he does have a 75 driving dunk so compared to his diamond card you know his takeover from season one at least he can actually dunk the ball and get to the rim with ease and then jump shot wise he does does have a jump shot on quick timing and the Trey Young dribble style as well. So, I mean, Jason Kidd should be a very good point guard. And talking about another really good point guard, and that is going to be Pink Diamond Dennis Johnson. He is a beast, man. He's a point guard shooting guard, six foot four with a six foot seven wingspan. I think he's very comparable and very similar to a guy like Jason Kidd. I just think he's going to be a little bit better on the offensive end because he does have an 85 driving dunk and his dribble sigs are going to be a tiny bit better. He's got the Darren Fox size up. He's got the John Wall scape and the MJ dribble style, which are some of the better sigs in my team right now compared to Jason Kidd not having the best size up and the best escape. And he does have Trey Young dribble style compared to MJ. And I do think MJ dribble style going to be a decent amount better. Now, jump shot wise i'm not exactly sure what his jump shot does look like in game but if it's somewhat decent of a release i do think he's going to be a decent amount better and then a guy like jason kidd now looking at the next pink diamond card this is where we start getting to some of the most elite cards in the spotlight set it's going to be trevor reese a small four power forward six foot eight with a seven foot two wingspan very comparable to dory finney smith i just think Ariza going to be a little bit better on the defensive end he's good at going to the basket and jump shot wise he does have a good release i've seen this card in game he's got a great jump shot he's got the mj dribble style i I think Trevor Lee, uh, Trevor Reza, just going to be a really good two-way small forward. Overall, though, going to be one of the better cards in the, in the new spotlight set. OG Ananobi, I think once again... And just like a guy like Trevor Reza is going to be very nice on the defensive side of things. I think OG is a little bit better because I do think he's got a better jump shot. And then defensively, they're about the same. I would say OG is probably slightly better on the defensive end. And like I said, preference wise, I do like his jump shot more than uh, Trevor Reza. But I think that really just comes down to preference. The next card here, I think this is breaking into the top four or five 
yeah i think we're breaking into the top five here maybe number six and that is going to be pink diamond miles turner he's a center power forward six foot eleven with a seven foot four wingspan i mean miles turner's cards are always just great in my team like he's going to be a really good power forward he plays good defense can knock down threes and, ha and has some really good uh defensive hall of fame badges so miles turner just a very good card jump shot only on normal timing though which is a little bit annoying but i think overall going to be a very good pink diamond card next one here is going to be seti osman i think honestly the most slept on card from the new galactic conqueror spotlight uh sims i think he's the most underrated card he's a small four shooting guard six foot seven with a six foot eight wingspan i mean this card all around it looks to be a really good shooting guard but then you look at the animations and just like um i think it was i think it was dennis johnson has some really good dribble sticks he's got the mj dribble style Kyrie irving size up which, which is one of the better size ups in the game and he's also got the john wall escape as well so he's got some really good dribble sticks for a shooting guard he's got a pretty decent release he's got the normal leaner and just going to be a very solid shooting guard and he's six foot seven so for me i think seti osman going to be the fifth best uh, spotlight card next card here is going to be michael he's a center power forward with a seven foot wingspan and he's uh, some, he's seven foot with a seven foot four wingspan and he's going to be up there with guys like Dirk Yee and even Kevin Garnett as well like he's a very good power forward he's seven foot he's got a great jump shot because he's got the Joe Smith release he's got the David Robinson lower base which Joe Smith also has he's got the Al Horford upper which also Joe Smith has so I mean he's basically got Joe, he's basically just got Joe Smith his release on quick timing then they also gave him the MJ dribble style Kobe Bryant escape which Joe Smith also has as well so I mean this card is basically just a seven foot Joe Smith who's actually going to be a lot better on the defensive side of things and is a seven foot power forward so for me i think michael is going to be the fourth best spotlight card at the number three spot the best pink diamond card is going to be tyreek evans he's a small forward point guard six foot six with a six foot eleven wingspan i mean he's debatably a top five point guard in the game maybe even top three like he's really nice in game man he's got a good jump shot it's on quick timing so it's pretty fast as well he's going to be a very solid defender because he is six foot six and to me he's just a better shay on the defensive end and then guys at the number two spot i think number two and number one are pretty obvious it's going to be andrew wiggins at the number two spot he's a small four shooting guard six foot seven with a seven foot wingspan very good defender good at getting to the rim i mean he's one of the galaxy opals it does make sense why he's up there at the top and i think he's the second best card from the new spotlight sims and then finally guys obviously the final prize is going to be galaxy Opal kg and he is the best card from the new spotlight set and i think he honestly is the best power forward in my team so kg super elite card i honestly do think he's going to be worth going for but guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my ranking and like i said earlier in the video let me know in the comment section down below who's your guys favorite spotlight card to use and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace